In this video, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be installing Git and using GitHub as an online repository. Now, what exactly is Git? Git is a version control software. Now you're looking at me, what the heck's a version control software? Now if you're new to this, think of uh, the fact that you have to write an essay. So in a standard essay, let's say a five paragraph essay, you have your introduction, your three points of your argument if we're going to do an argument comparison, your first body, your second body, your third body, and then your closing statement. Now, let's say you write your paper and you like how it is, and then you have somebody review the draft and they make a bunch of changes and recommendations. You come back, you make those changes. You save it, you're like, okay, that's great. And then a few days later, you have somebody else review it, and they go, well, you need to make these changes. So you go ahead and you make these changes. Now, you make that save. Um, what happens if you go, well, what was it that I wrote before? Because I think I actually wanted to put the sentence from the first change in before I made my third change. Well, you can't go back and do that because you've already saved over those. In versioning control, we can actually go back to previous saves. We have a master copy that has the preview edition for everybody, which is kind of like a final draft, but then we have our previous drafts that we can actually go back to and pull segments from them or pull from that and compare it and then actually replace that data if we want it. So first what you need to do, I know, it was a lot. First what you need to do is go ahead, go ahead and open up a browser. In the browser, type github.com. Go ahead and make sure you log in. I've already gone ahead and logged in. You may have to create a new account. Um, once you get to this screen, if you're on a screen like this, make sure you go to your profile. Now under your profile, click on repositories and then click on either new here or at the top here you can click on the plus sign and select new repository so we're gonna click new repository next what we're gonna do is we're gonna name this repository for this example I'm gonna name this repository front end hyphen web hyphen developer hyphen intro um, the reason why I'm using hyphens or dashes is because in a web browser in the top URL up here if you have a space in here the browsers will autofill it with the percent sign followed by the number 20. That looks weird in the URL, so I just stick with the hyphens. Next, what you want to do is you want to come on down and you're going to want to click create repository. There's an option to add a git ignore now, but we can do that later. And it's really cool to actually set it up here, but we're going to say create repository. Okay. Okay. Now before we continue with this, I'm going to have you do one thing. Go ahead and minimize this window. We're not going to run through this just yet. We still have to install the package for the apt or for the git. So go ahead, open up your terminal. Now, I know what the site is, so you can actually come over here if you want and look at how to install git using Linux, but I will explain how to do that. I'll also provide the link on it, so it'll be under like git scm and then so on Linux we have sudo apt git install since we're using a Debian like environment using the apt git we're going to be using this command if you're using rel or CentOS you're going to want to use this command so what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to copy this and then I'm going to come back here I'm going to right click and select paste so you need to make sure you have sudo in front of apt git install git all sudo means super user do we're basically saying um, the admin has rights to do this and you will have to type in your password to confirm it when you do
Did you notice that you couldn't see my password? In Linux, it's hidden, so you have to be able to type it in correctly. Go ahead, click Y, click Enter. Make sure it goes through the installation, and you should be good. I'm going to go ahead and pause this video and wait for it to finish up. Okay, so once it's done, go ahead, clear that out. You might get a little notification that you had an error if you did. First, let's make sure Git was actually installed. So what you want to do is type git dash dash version. If you get an output, Git was installed. Git was installed for me. If you have any issues or any questions, go ahead and leave comments. I'll get back to you when I can. Um, but go ahead and continue on with this video. So now we have Git installed. Next we need to do is we need to jump back into our browser and set up Git correctly. And it'll actually prompt us while we're initializing this. But first, <laughs> I almost forgot and foremost, let's create a directory. So you've already learned how to do that. We're going to create the front end web developer intro com directory and then we're going to initialize the Git. Okay, just go ahead and follow along. come over here now in our terminal view go ahead and paste this one line at a time or copy and paste so copy jump back right click paste okay so we've initialized a readme there's a readme also besides touch echo then we're gonna do git init git add readme and then git commit first so let's initialize It's very important that the README be named exactly. All caps with a lowercase md, okay? Next, I'm going to copy this line. You can go ahead and type it in. Here's where the fun part starts. So it says, tell me who you are. All right, so we've created a GitHub account. That's great, but now we need to know, so the, or the command line needs to know, how do I connect up to GitHub through the command line? We're not using a GUI interface, we're connecting up through this. So we need to go ahead and we need to set that up. So it says run to set the username and then configure for global user. We will actually do both of these, so go ahead and follow along. Make sure you put in your email and then your username. Your username is usually this ID right after GitHub. So now let's try to rerun our git commit first and see if that works. So I'm using the up arrow. 
till I find it. And it says, cool, you committed your first, or you've sent your first commit. Great. Now let's make sure we connect directly to the repository. So I'm going to go ahead and copy that. Come back here. Paste. Enter. Excellent. No errors. Last, let's go ahead. It says git push dash u origin master. Now the most you're going to use out of these commands that we've seen so far is the git commit m and the git push u both these statements. You'll probably use them over and over and over for the same repository. And yes, you have to add your password one time. Cool, everything's been done. Let's come back up to this repository, click the refresh button, and our repository has been created. Okay, before we wrap up, let's make one more change to this event here. Let's go ahead and let's create a new file for this Git repository as a sample. So I'm gonna go ahead and clear this out so we can see some space. Okay, let's make a directory and we're gonna call it day one and then let's change into the day one directory let's do vi and let's create a folder or file called just for this example sample and we'll do a simple txt file All right press the I key go ahead press exit colon write quit now if we go ahead and cat this just to make sure All right, whatever. We've we've got some text in there at the moment. Excellent. So next, what we want to do, go ahead, change directory, all the way up to the top. Good. We're in the root of the directory. You're going to want to type git add, and then usually the name of the directory. But since we're adding multiple files, so we could add, say day one and then we could also add the file that we created in day one another thing to do is you want to type git status and that puts out like all new changes or all new files that have that need to be uploaded or verses that have been deleted so to let us know what I'd like to do if I'm adding more than one file or two files or even a folder of two files and images I like to do git add dash a which adds all files so we say that if I type git status again notice that it's turned green and it says you are gonna add sample.txt along with the folder day one so next what we do is we do the git commit dash m which means message you have to put this in there and then in double quotes type what your message is which is closing quotes enter it goes okay so now it's added it to our local repository so that's what the commit actually does now after we've updated our local repository let's update our online repository on github so next what we're gonna do is we're gonna say git push u dash origin space master Oop, I mistyped something.
I may need to fix the password setup for the global privileges for my user and my password because normally you shouldn't have to do that. I'm going to have to go back and do that myself and you may want to do that as well. Thanks for watching. Let's go ahead. Let's check this out. Let's refresh our page. Notice we have a new directory in here and we have our sample file. Now anytime we make a change, it'll let us know the amount of time, when it was uploaded, and what the message was. Thanks for watching.